go into uh, the subject a little bit deeper here. So we're going to scout for lows. So we're, we're scouting first for the Bitcoin low. Then that helps us scout the Ethereum lows in terms of both time and price. So we got that taken care of for you guys here. But let's take a look at kind of how healthy we are right now in the market with Bitcoin, Ethereum in terms of their fundamental information right now uh, and a few other metrics. And then we'll get into various altcoins today. Uh, we're not taking a coin request show or anything like that, but we'll look at some of the top coins that we like. Um, we'll look at, you know, how are their charts looking compared to the overall alt altcoin market? And then what kind of signals and, and tools can you look for on the chart here um, at various altcoins that you may have as well in your portfolio that we don't talk about today? What other clues can you look for in those charts um, to try to see, um, you know, if they're bullish or bearish uh, compared to the others, right? So we're going to talk about that. But uh, this was an interesting tweet here from Checkmate, who is one of the top on-chain uh, analytics people for Bitcoin in the cryptocurrency space. Um, he has this interesting metric called short-term holder sell-side risk ratio. And he says low sell-side risk ratio, all profits, uh, this means all profits are taken, all losses are taken, and then the market needs to move, right? So he said, uh, this has reached uh, level signaling it's time for the market to move. And this tweet came out on the 23rd. And then what happened? We, we dumped, right? Uh, we had, where's the 23rd? So it came out right at the beginning of this candle here, a little bit of a dump on that day, and then boom, right? We hit uh, going into uh, what's attempting to be the cycle lows. Uh, he says, all profits that were going to be taken have been, same for losses. The market needs to find a new price range to stoke the fire of fear, greed, panic, or euphoria, right? So that range, it looks like it is establishing now. So just interesting uh, metric here to see. If you do look at it uh, all the times that this has created any lows in the market not all of them have been lows by the way but the ones that have been the majority of them uh, have, uh when they come in a bull market this basically uh, creates lows but it doesn't mean the price can't go lower uh just means uh if the price goes lower it just gets to be a better discount essentially uh when you look at that metric in a bull market the other thing that's interesting to look at here is the bitcoin spot etf flows so uh, if we scroll down here, you can see the total spot Bitcoin ETF history uh, of inflows and alt flows. So if you look at from June 13th here through June 24th, every day, uh, every weekday, right? Because uh, the ETF takes breaks on Sundays uh, or in, and holidays, right? Uh, on weekends and holidays. But uh, during the days that it was live, we had minus 226 million, minus 190, minus 140, minus 150 million. 139 million, 100 million, 174 million, and then plus 31 million today. Um, so it was the first green day on inflows for the spot Bitcoin ETF since uh, June 12th, right? Uh, so yeah, all of that, all of June from the 10th until the 24th was basically selling. Uh, the 12th was the only day that was green. Uh, if we look at the 10th of June here, what happened from there? Basically, we lost the support during that time. So the outflows of the ETS, you can see we're at the same time as the biggest part of that dump. So uh, just something to kind of remember there in terms of data. Uh, and then, yeah, you can take a look at today, uh, in the last 31 million to come in. Uh, you can see, let's see here, uh, grayscale still selling. Uh, but yeah, uh, let's see here. Yeah, interesting, interesting. But yeah, money coming in different ways. Um, this, I guess, is a more visual chart of the days of selling versus buying. You can see if we look at price since we had uh, what this back on January 28th. Uh, so we dumped uh, a bit in price and then we went really on a tear from there. We had a bunch of ETF inflows, not really too many outflows, right? Then what happens is you kind of see the green and red kind of equalized each other and price chops sideways. Then we have more inflows again, price goes up, more uh, more outflows, price goes down. But you can see here, the outflows in terms of volume are nowhere near the volume of uh, the buy side. And so since sell side, sell side pushes price down significantly, but uh, obviously the buying is the main action here in this market. So uh, it looks like we might have the start of a return to buying here on the ETF uh, going into the Ethereum ETF approval. Um, but let's see what tomorrow brings.